This is the Nike Kobe 9 Elite Low Pro Tro. Let me tell you about it. Now, before I get started, thank you ProDirect for sending these through. These are not easy to get hold of, so I appreciate you guys looking after me. Now, right off the bat, we're not talking about a brand new shoe here. These are a Pro Tro. For those who don't know, these have been retro for performance, along with many other Kobe lines in the past recent years. These first came out in 2014 in actually a high version and, of course, a low version. This colorway wasn't released back then, but it's here now. Now, look, full transparency, I haven't played in these just yet. I did play in the 2014 pairs and I do know a thing or two about basketball shoes. So in this video, I'm gonna break down everything you need to know if you do plan on copping a pair for yourself. Starting things out with the traction. The foot pressure mat traction pattern is widely known as one of the best traction patterns of all time. Multi-directional, perfect for shifty guards. Woo! These do bits. They are an absolute beast indoor and the beast outdoor, but not recommended for outdoor. The compound used is soft, the groove lines are quite thin, and they don't really hold up as well as they could on the outdoor courts. So my suggestion would be keep these indoors if you want them to hold up for as long as possible. Next up, let's talk about the cushioning. That's not gonna bang on video. Next up, the cushioning. The Kobe 9 Elite Low uses a React drop in midsole, which was Lunalon back in 2014, but this is the upgrade. Softer, more responsive, and lighter, you get everything you need in a cushioning setup. Nike's been messing with React foam for over seven years now, and by making it a drop in, you actually avoid adding weight to the shoe. You take away things like glue and a way to keep it in place, so the drop in midsole has been the go to option since the Kobe 7. How many records can my records break? More records. But, but I'm the best. But are you a different animal and the same beast? What the f does that mean, Kobe Bryant? You're welcome. What the f is he talking about? Next up, let's talk materials and support. The Kobe 9 Elite offers a reinforced flyknit which is built for basketball. Now, for those who don't know, flyknit is basically Mesh's big cousin who he looks up to. Everything you get in mesh, you get the upgrade when we're talking flying it. That's the weight, it's super light, it's flexible every which way, and breathable so your feet don't stink, quite frankly. And when it's built for basketball, you really get the best example of all three. Paired with mesh to create the internal booty as well as the tongue. Right above the foot to increase that breathability I spoke about earlier. Coming up from the midsole are three carbon fiber plates which act as a bed to hold your foot in one place no matter what direction you're moving in. As well as a TPU heel counter to keep you in place there as well. And to reduce rolling, this small but effective four foot outrigger. I'll move on quickly to fit, because there ain't much to say about these. These are gonna be true to size to so get the size you know. Flying it material means they will mold to your foot over time. So any size you get, you're gonna be good to go. Now me, like I said in the last video, I love my double socks. Judge me if you want. It's fine, I'm still gonna double sock my shoes. I just like the way it feels. Now overall, I'm gonna give these a 4.5 out of five. It loses that half point because you really can't take them outside. Everything else is a premium, and I mean premium because that price is a madness, on-court shoe. When you break it all down, you are getting the best iteration of Nike's basketball all in one shoe. Considered the best traction out there right now, Flying it upper, along with carbon fiber plates for support. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, these are hot. I'm gonna tell you right now, will I play in these? I don't even know if I will, guys, bro. It is, hey, one little white. That's the only point I had. I don't really feel like playing in all white shoes. These are too clean. Oh. Nah, I ain't playing in these. But to close it out, thanks again for watching. ProDirect, appreciate you guys sending these through. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button on the way out, and I'll see you on the next one in a bit.